I'm Martha and welcome to my YouTube channel Hair with Martha and today I'm going to show you how to get perfect volume using backcombing. So first you want to section off quite a large section and just clip that away because we're going to use that later to hide all of the knots that we make. Next you want to you want to take a tail comb not a teasing comb. A tail comb, tail comb gives you better volume so Use this, not this, put it that way. Now, with your tail comb, comb it back and section off a piece right below that one. Now, you want to go, put your comb about here and just gently push it down and release the comb. Put it here, push it down, push it down, push it down. Just keep doing this until you create a nice mesh in the roots. So a bit like that. Okay, so you've just got a nice kind of knot there. Okay, now you want to take your next piece. Do exactly the same thing. If you go all the way up here, the teasing, the back combing will end about here and you don't want that. You want it just in the roots. You don't want, you want the ends to be nice and smooth because it, it will look better and give you more volume. Okay, so next section. Exactly the same, oops. Exactly the same process. That one went really, really big. That one did. Okay, I'm going to do, I think I might do one more. Take your time with this, it's not a rush. Don't forget the sides. Okay, so now you should have all your back combing just flips over to one side. Now you want to flip it back over, so it's like that. And look how much volume we've created just by back combing and with that comb, that is extraordinary. Okay, so now this is where this piece come in, comes in and is, as you can see, it will hide all of this kind of knots and bits sticking out. So it will really help us with our skills. Just take your comb and just gently layer it on, like that. And just comb it out so you can't see any of the T's um, back combing. Underneath. You see how much volume that creates, it's really, really amazing. And now, what you'll probably want to do is make sure that your um, kind of quiff thing is in the middle so you don't want it kind of slant, slanted. So just make sure it lines up kind of with the nose. Okay, so now you want you can take a bit of smoothing serum, a bit in your fingers, and just layer, uh, smooth that out just to kind of keep all those bits together so they don't show any of the back combing like that. Okay, now you want to just pick all of the teasing up. See, that you can just easily select it and pick it up. Just comb it all out like this. Okay, so now you've got your teasing, all your back coming done, and you want to just get the quiff and just kind of twist it to my right, but you can do it to the left if you want, it's really just up to you. I'm just going to kind of finish this off. So you want to just twist it there, then you want to just to kind of just take a rough section, it doesn't have to be too neat, and just add that into the twist, and then take like the same size section from the other side. And add that into and then just take another section add it in another section add it in and then just take the rest of the hair and we'll add it in so you want to just tighten that twist so it's kind of gone of kind of a French twist it looks really nice then you want to take a hair elastic and secure that right at the top Okay. 
You might want to add like an accessory. I'm just going to add this kind of white lace scrunchie just to hide that brown elastic. Okay, so that is the completed style. Beautiful volume and then finished in a twist and a ponytail. So, here it is. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and see you next week. Bye.